Where do our ethics come from? I want to suggest to you an ethical value, an ethical test, which will stand the test of time and work in every culture. Whether you're with an Islamic fundamentalist who wants to blow himself up, or whether you're with a, a Christian fundamentalist who wants to put a bullet in someone else's head uh, in Northern Ireland, or whether you are, um, whether you are in business, whether you're uh, an environmentalist, uh, whether you're in banking or auditing, whether you're in government or diplomacy, here is whether you're in genetic engineering or whether you're using embryonic stem cells. This is a simple value, and I promise you, this value drives every political debate and is beneath every piece of legislation. It underwrites every law that is ever operating and every motivation that we have. And it's simply this. This is the ethic. Will the world be a better place as a result of this activity or not? And you say, whose world? Ah, oh, that's another question. Whose world? But that is the fundamental principle. If everybody was to follow this example, if every business was to do what you are doing now, would the world be a better place or not? And if it doesn't pass that test, then we have an ethical problem. And you, you then have to define better and what you mean by world, whose world. And I agree. And that's where the big debates are. Okay, so the pharmaceutical company who wants to stop people using generic ciproxacillin in Africa. All right? I promise you this. The reason why such, such things don't even come to court these days is because the chairman, when confronted by his son who comes back from Africa, says, Dad, how does that make the world a better place? How can you sleep at night knowing that these people in Africa need ciproxacillin at 34 cents and you want to put a five dollar load on, the, on everything. And how does it even help your shareholders? Because by, by doing that, how much extra money are you going to get from Africa, those, those nations anyway? And then the chairman, the only way he can argue against that ethic is to say, ah yes, but let me tell you why the world would be a worse place. If you do that, I promise you those cheap drugs will be all over America and Europe. If they are, we will lose money. If that happens, our shareholders will run away. We, we are, do you know, 75% of all our shares are owned by pensioners. Did you know that? We are owned by pensioners. The reason why pension funds are in a mess is because companies haven't respected that trust. We need to preserve their capital and grow their wealth and also treat people for health, healthy things and show them a good return on science. We have to earn one billion dollars on every drug to begin to make a profit before we start. We have only ten years anyway before our patent is burnt up after launching a drug. If you wreck this, you will close down the whole of the private pharmaceutical industry as it is known and we will have to go back to doing everything in universities. As a result, I believe hundreds of millions of more people will die of perfectly preventable diseases because you will have destroyed research and innovation in this sector. And that's the debate. Which is better? Which will produce a better world on balance for humankind? Taking into account the shareholders, those in Africa, um, whether the chairman can sleep at night, what the staff actually think, what the media will say. And that is, the, that is the basis of, that is for me the, the basis of finding our way through on these ethical debates. And that's how you get global ethics. And you're seeing this in the global marketplace every single day. People arguing in courts of law, if you do this, we believe it will make the world a worse place. And it's on that basis that courts are making decisions. And, uh, and, and that, I believe, keeps back to the most important theme of all, which is this. That is what I happen to think that the purpose of every business is, is to make someone's world a better place. Every product you make is delivered on a promise, right? Every service you deliver, every contract you sign is a promise. It's a promise. We will deliver this to you. When you eat our chocolate, it will give you a nice feeling inside and you will not die. When you drink our milk, it will not poison you. It will be the substance of life itself. When you come and work for us, we will give you a great career, we will stretch you, and we will respect the fact that you also have a family. If you, if you sign a software contract for us, I promise you, I will bust myself day and night to make sure that we deliver and that you keep your job. 
So the, what is the business? Every business is a promise, based on a promise. The promise is that I will make your world a better place when you buy stuff from me. And the purpose of your business, therefore, is to deliver on the promise every time. That becomes your ethical purpose. Your promise is also to your shareholders to respect the capital they've given you and to honor them. And as you do that, you'll find your profits. The profits come when you deliver on the promise, you make good promises at a, at, a, at, a, at a reasonable price, tremendous quality. You deliver on the promise every time and the community rewards you with profit. But I tell you this, if you go on sharing, chasing shareholder value without any reference to how we do it, uh, we will find ourselves quite rapidly that our profits will disappear. Now you might say that's not necessarily true in the short term, but I believe it will be in the future. Increasingly difficult to make profits just by focusing on the bottom line. <coughs> And the most successful companies and the most sustainable in the long term will be ones, I think, that understand the primary ethic. We're in business to make the world a better place. How can I help you today? And when that's my focus, I will find that you're quite soft on pricing and I can be a little bit more aggressive and that will give me a nice profit and then everyone will be happy. And there we are.